Nancy, baby. It's Nancy and Trace. <laughs> Um, all right, so thank you for tuning in. My name is Tina K, and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be talking about applying to colleges. I'm gonna put it in a two-part video. I am going to do a whole walkthrough of how you apply via ontariocolleges.ca, and I'm gonna give you the steps leading up to that application. So let's just jump right in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so you've decided after all my discouragement to study abroad. Thank you for that. I'm so happy that I did not discourage anybody completely, that I did not tell you don't come to college. Thank you. You're making this decision on your own. And that is very important. Very, very important that you have decided with much digging on your own and a lot of personal experiences from myself that you want to study in Canada. Now, I can only speak for studying in Toronto, Ontario, because that's where I study. That's the only experience I have. And I only speak from experiences on this channel. So, whew, how do we apply? Step one, you have to decide what industry you want to go into. What do you want to study? What field do you want to go into? And then you're going to decide what do you want to do in that field because I could tell you hey I want to go in hospitality and tourism that is woo, so big so you have to decide where you want to go in to, in that industry what you want to do what's the impact that you want to make and this is very important because in the prior videos you can obviously tell that it takes a lot of time a lot of physical emotional and basic everything all financial trust me but it takes a lot to study here so you have to know that you want it and you're gonna push through to the end all right after you've decided what you want to study we're gonna go on to ontariocolleges.ca now this is if you decide you're going to colleges Colleges and university are severely different here in Canada. And with colleges, you can do a certificate, a diploma, diplo di a diploma, or you can do degree. And if you're coming here after you've done your bachelor's, you can do postgraduate studies. Now, Colleges gives you a lot of those options while universities, I believe, only go for straight degree, um, your first degree, your master's, all of that. So again, do your research. This is just me babbling off at the mouth. Next thing you wanna do is, yeah, go to ontariocolleges.ca and type in what you wanna do. So if it is hotel management, construction management, um, Anything that you're thinking about venturing into, just type it in. And it's gonna show you all the colleges that offer it, all the courses that are offered, whether it be a diploma, a degree, master's, like it's gonna show you a whole array of that. What you're gonna do with that information is take it down. You're gonna write down the ones that sound appealing to you, the, the programs that appeal to you, the uh, colleges, the names, a lot of the names might pop out because you're going to hear me talk about Humber a lot. You're going to see, oh, Humber offers this or Seneca offers that. Um, Sheridan does this. George Brown does that. Um, those names are going to pop up because they're on there. After taking down those programs and the uh, colleges that offer them, you're going to go on a research. And this research could take days, it could take months. You can start right now. You're gonna take down the name of those programs and the colleges are offered. 
you're gonna research those colleges. You're gonna check out what they're like. Definitely the money, where they're located, what they offer, you're gonna check out how well their um, past students are doing. If you have a LinkedIn, this is heaven for you. You're gonna follow the school on LinkedIn. There are people that have attended there. You might add them based on um, the career field that they're in, knowing that they studied at the college that you might want to go to and they're doing something that you are interested in doing. You might wanna connect with those people. Um, do follow them on social media, check out what they're doing, how they engage with their students. And I promise you with a pandemic like this, you need to know how well they take care of their students. What have they done in the pandemic to make sure that you as an international student are okay. You know, like you're definitely going to dive into everything about the school because Ladies and gentlemen, you're committing to two to four years at this um, institution and you just want to know that, hey, I'm going to do my part. I'm hoping that you're going to do your part. Like, that's all we're here for. After checking out their portfolio in terms of going on their website and seeing what they're about, check out the rule books as well and like just everything that they offer if you were a student there how would you benefit from being there and then i would like to implore you ladies and gentlemen to check out the area that the school is located is it an area where you can get jobs is the area where you can live check out places for students it usually tells you um i don't remember the the, the there's a score thing that basically tells you, hey, this is a very accessible neighborhood. It's easy to get the bus. You can walk to Walmart. You can walk to Shoppers. There's a metro right there. Like it tells you how, insert word here, the area is. Um, you're gonna wanna think about winter because if you decide I'm gonna live here because I can walk across the park to school, remember that Canada has something called winter. It can be terrible and it can be not as terrible as terrible, but you need to be prepared. So don't make those decisions based solely on, hey, it's close to, yes, it's close, but how am I going to get there in the heat? Because when Canada gets hot, it gets hot or in the cold when it's extremely cold when there's like 15 inches of snow on the 15 centimeters inches 15 something of snow like a lot of snow um i haven't experienced a storm but like imagine if like a tree fell down across the pathway like think about how accessible this place is and then not then like Throughout all of this, you're gonna be thinking about money. Can I afford to go to this college? Can I afford to live in this area to go to this college? Can I afford the time that it will take if I live in a cheaper area and travel to this college? Like, you're gonna, for the next few weeks, this is your sole purpose. Like, you're gonna check out these colleges, you're gonna check out testimonials from people um past students lecturers even sometimes they have stuff like promoting their college like hey i love working for this college because it this it this it this like connect with people because you can start your networking from now i tell you you know how in jamaica links run things same thing up here like you gotta know people that know people that know people so Start your networking, connect with the college, connect with people that go to that college. Just be extensive. And then you're gonna decide on narrow, narrowing down your options. You may, I recommend, I highly recommend applying to as many colleges as you can. 
because on Ontario colleges you can apply to up to five I believe with the one application fee and the, like just submit one application and select the five colleges but you can also select up to three programs in one college now if you are hell-bent on going to one specific college I believe the application fee is cheaper and some of them even have lifted the application fee I think Centennial doesn't or at the time they didn't but you can apply directly to that college if you decided that hey this is it this is gold this is where I want to be this is a school I want to be this is the area I want to live into this is where I want to work like the whole package then you apply to that college now if you have different options like hey this area is good but this college is good and you haven't completely decided after a few weeks where you want to go apply to at least three of those colleges apply to at least three you get an option of five you can do two programs in two separate colleges and then one in the other but apply apply and keep your options open and then I'm gonna show you in my next video how to complete the application on ontariocolleges.ca but this is an overview of how to prepare yourself for the application process um, thank you for tuning into my video thank you for liking thank you for commenting thank you for subscribing and if you are a current international student tell us how you did it and if you've already applied tell me how the uh, process went now I'm having a giveaway uh, I feel very generous I feel like there were times when I needed the little push that I didn't get and I feel like there is somebody out there that I could help in some way shape or form granted it might get me a lot of followers and subscriptions but that's not what I'm doing it for I need at least one person but I might cap at two to um, outline their plan to me of how they're gonna do this um, I'm trying to mentor somebody in a way like you've decided you're gonna study in Ontario this is how you're gonna do it this is what you want and I'm gonna pay for your applications so I am sponsoring two but if I get one I'll be so grateful because it's not gonna broke my pocket. But two, definitely two. I need two people that will write it all the way because I'm willing to pay for your college applications as well as your study permit application. That's your visa process, your biometrics, all of that. Um, yeah, I am definitely, yeah. So if you know somebody that knows somebody that wants to, Reach out to them, share this um, playlist with them, let them know that, hey, Tina is doing a giveaway. If you really want to study in Canada, here you go. She can walk you through the process. This is what she's been through. She can, like, she she knows, and she's real. Like, I'm so for real. <laughs> this is my first giveaway, and I am very content with my decision. So just share this video with somebody that you know wants to um, study in Canada. I'm here for it. I like I don't have I love filling out forms, but I don't have to personally um, complete the application for you if you don't want me to. But I'll fund it. So um, yeah, let me know your plans of studying in Ontario, in Canada, in Toronto, hopefully, and. Yeah, it's not, you don't, bruh, it's not a essay. Although that would be nice, but like evidence that, hey, um, I'm gonna pay for this by this. I'm gonna do this. Like, I don't want to fund it for somebody that doesn't know where they're, where the next dollar or, um, like they don't know how they're gonna make it happen. They just, Think that they can make it happen I understand I was that person and I am the exception not the rule 
So I believe that I need somebody that's gonna really tough it out, you know? Because, just because. Just share the video, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.